Stuart, a point in the end. How do you begin to sum that ending up? Nah, listen, Scott, it wasn't what we came for today. Um, I spoke about trying to make sure we finished here at five o'clock and um, that we had a win no matter what happened. We knew we were always up against it uh, with, the, with the scenarios that needed to happen. Um, but from my side, yeah, um, obvious frustration. Our, our, our run, our charge, if you like, towards that top six was late. Um, and, we, and we gave ourselves quite a big mountain to climb. Um, but I think, listen, the, the, the overall pleasing aspect is the supporters that stay here right in the 94th, 95th minute of the game. Um, they got to see a fantastic goal and uh, get level in the game and get a chance right in the dying embers of that as well. So, um, you know, there's, there, there's those small sweeteners, I suppose, in a sense. Um, but I never come here today, and I know the supporters and the players didn't come here today. Um, we, 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 we thought that the, the dream, if you like, was alive to still try and achieve that top six and we've came up short and I'm not going to kid anybody here by saying that the, the game was stacked with, with quality the best moment in the game unquestionably Shane Blaney's strike at goal um, it was difficult it was really challenging it's no excuses I think everybody here um, you know if they if they look deep in it could see that even at times the 10 yard passes um, were really difficult they were they were challenging with that swirling wind and neither team really get any quality flowing at any point you know there was a lot at stake um, from our side it would love to play better we want to play better and we will play better um, but as I say, it's that character and personality that I've just said to them again that we have shown all season. Um, it doesn't become a coincidence that, that teams know when they play against us that when you get into that last 10 minutes, even into injury time, uh, the numbers of goals that we score then and how much we keep pushing to try and get someone out of a game of football. And unfortunately, that's something we got today wasn't enough. I think one thing I picked on, up on at full time was everyone was down on the deck, um, gutted. Does that just show the levels of care that they've got for this club and what we want to try and achieve here? Unquestionable, yeah I, I, I don't think that's show, you know, I'm not one for a show, I'm not one for all the kind of histrionics, I hate it in fact um, but I think what you did see was not just our players their players as well collapsed in a, in a heap on the floor because they were they were trying incredibly hard, both sets of players to try and win the game and try and see if it was something that would give them a chance of that top six prize, um, we've both come up short um, in, in, in a sense, but you know there was a bit of exhaustion in that for some of them as well Scott because I think there was a there was a chunk of players that ran every stride and every step that they can, and I'm sure the supporters will uh, will agree with me that sometimes that's all you can ask in a day when there wasn't a great quality in show. We, you know, at half time we're trying to we're trying to eke that out, and we're trying to get a little bit more um, because. I think when we do and we get in that flow we're a, we're a handful for, for any team but I think what happened today was a lot of the game and a lot of the flow of the game was kind of left to chance and left to conditions rather than us getting our foot in the ball and actually trying to boss the game and get the ball into better areas so um, we'll always analyse that um, and we'll take our medicine for what's happened today but very very much so my message is that we've got five games to play and it's full focus and full attention on trying to amass as many points as we possibly can we've got you know, five games to play can we go and try and win five games? Difficult of of course it is in this division um, but that has to be where we set our sights now and try to look to see if we can be the best of the rest in that bottom six. Just going to say how do you how do you keep the, the motivation alive and well in that dressing room and, and ensure that these the rest of these games don't become dead rubber so to speak? Uh, just very simply the standards we set every day and the people we are I believe um, I've, I don't think I've had one single training session in the, over a year I've been the manager of the football club where I've had to give the players a jag for their motivation or for their body language or for their application to what they do and the work they do for this football club so um, I don't foresee that being the case at any point and if it did um, I'd be the first one to jump on it um, you know we cast our mind back um, we were probably written off by many for a good chunk for a, for a good spell and I understand that I take that in the chin through a real bad run what we've shown is unbelievable personality character to get ourselves back into a position we're challenging for top six um, our form's been pretty good since the turn of the year you know the points we've picked up some of the wins that we've had in there um, so from my side yeah, that's how I see it continuing to the end of the season we may be we may be punching above our weight and that's the bit that I always keep throwing in there as well you know we keep taking into context of financial side of things and what clubs invest and what they've got and all the rest of it's got so from many aspects I think that we're, um, we're in a decent place as a football club I want it to be better I want to go and try and see if we can push on and make it better um, and I know that we've got a group of people around me you know staff players and um, people at board level that are all on board with the same the, the same idea a new chief executive that wants exactly that um, and that's what we'll do for the next five games and that's what we'll look to do beyond that as well thanks for your time Stuart cheers Scott.